This was a Mike Trout like quarter. I mean, they crushed it on an iPhone relative to a supply chain. For those chain. who don't know Mike Trout, he's all, well, considered one of the best players in baseball. Yeah, so I'll call right. it. We're I, all playing on the same so field. So I'll, I'll call it a Mike Trout, a Tom Brady like quarter. In okay, terms of from, from an iPhone perspective, you look at services better than Whisper. Combined with what we saw in the supply chain, I mean, this is, this is one in Cupertino. They print this press release off frame it, put it in Cook's office. Still got to get some better ideas, though, don't we, on uh, what the greater China uh, business is. The uh, revenue there was $18.34 billion. Much better than feared. It, 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 the, the story that you're seeing here with Apple is, despite all the haters continuing to hate, Cupertino continues to put up numbers that are just jaw-dropping. This is one, importantly, when we leave here, the most important thing for tech tomorrow, it's this Apple number, and, and ultimately much better than anyone would have expected. I don't know if he was referring to you as a hater, uh, Alex, but it certainly seemed like you maybe thought there was going to be a disappointment somewhere, and it was anything but, at least on the surface. Well, look, I, I got to agree with Dan on this one. I give it to him. Tom Brady quarter. You got to credit Apple, right? They came through, basically hit every number they were expected to or exceeded. Um, there's been softness with so many of the companies. We just talked about Amazon posting a loss. Roku telling people that, telling us that folks aren't buying because of they're not getting a stimulus check. You know, Robinhood saying people aren't trading as much as they used to. But Apple comes through. And it needed to in order to keep this big tech sector going strong. So I, I stick to what I said, which is that it could see weakness moving forward. But if you look at this quote, this quarter where there were challenges for it, the company came through. I agree with Dan. You got to give it up to Apple. Nicely done, yeah. folks. And again, I mean, the stock was up about four uh, percent, even maybe more than that in the session today. And normally, Shannon, it has run a lot into the number. So maybe you don't see the follow through. This case is different, right? Some of these generals, as some have referred to them, have gotten hit pretty good of late. This has come back nicely. What's your reaction to the earnings? Well, I think it's great. I mean, I, we're expecting those services uh, comps to slow a little bit, Scott. So that's not surprising. Um, I do think you talked about China in terms of the demand side. I'm, I'm much more obviously concerned about the supply side with the shutdowns. Um, but I think if you look in the second half of the year, um, I'm not expecting significant upside from this stock. But I think that what this earnings report did is it, it stopped the bleeding in terms of these big misses in big tech. Um, and I think that this is a nice base for us going into the market tomorrow. We actually could extend this rally based solely on this earnings report. You know, we haven't seen the, uh, the worst of it quite yet, I think, in terms of some of these big cap tech. But I think we're certainly seeing the divergence, and I'm happy to see it. Let me ask you, though, to, to what you just said, and I wrote it down because I wanted to come back to you, not expecting significant upside for the stock. Why not? Because I, I, I think that this is um, in, it's a consumer stock. It's ha it has meaningful China exposure. Um, but I also you know, think that in terms of the market, I think we're going to be looking for other parts of the market to lead in the second half of the year if we're going to get a significant rally. I think some of these big cap, cap tech names need to hold their own coming into the second half of the year. But I certainly don't think that they're going to be the leaders necessarily, um, at least the Apple, Apple Microsoft, uh, Amazon combo. Um, Amazon is actually based on the multiple multiple compression we've had, probably where I see potentially stronger upside in the second half.